Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This is part 25 of the e-commerce app playlist. In this video, we will set up the card fragment. So we will actually create this card fragment and also design the item of the recycle review in this fragment. So without any further to go, let's jump into it. And first thing you want to do is to download the drawables because there are some icons that we need to use in these designs. So just download them and copy them, then paste them inside the drawable file in your project. Click on OK, OK, and here are the drawables. So nothing actually interesting. We have uh, this minus icon, plus icon. We have also the empty box and other stuff. OK, now we would like to start with the item of the card fragment. Before that, let me show you what it looks like. As you can see on the screen, we will just design this item, then we will design the fragment itself. So inside the layout file, let's create a new one. And let's call this cart product item. And inside here, this will be a card view. And we would like to change the background tint of this and make it G white. We also need to cancel the elevation, so we don't want to show any shadow. For that card elevation make it zero now inside here we're going to have a constraint layout for the rest of the design it's going to take the match parent and one thing the height make it wrap content now in here we will first have the image view eighty db for the width and 75 db for the height now margin from the bottom 5 db and now we add the constraints. So bottom to the bottom of our parent, top to the top of our line. So by the way, we have not created this yet. So I would just like to create it now in here. And this would be just a simple view. So we'll create it in here. And uh, let's make this zero dB for the width because it's gonna take the whole width. So this will make a line between each two items inside our recycle view. Now for the height, make this one dB and the margin from the top make this 10 db now the background color for this line is white and the constraints start to the start of parent bottom to the bottom of parent end to the end of our parent so this is just a line that will be placed at the bottom of each item inside our recycle views as you can see now let's get back to our image view and we're just gonna change these constraints actually. This is gonna be bottom to the top of our line. We have not add an ID for that, so let's do it. And we'll just like to add it in here. And start to the start of our parent into the end of our parent. Scale type, let's make the center crop and we can just add any color in here just for demonstration to see how it looks like. So in my case, we'll just add G blue. Okay, seems like something wrong because it, this should uh, be at the start. So we actually need to change this constraint and delete it completely like this. And then here we can add an ID for this one and let's call it image cart product. Okay, now moving to the next thing, which is the text view. This will show the name of that product. So for the width, let's make it 180. And for the height, make it trap content. And there's a margin from the start of 8 dB. Margin from the top, 8 dB. And for the font family, we will be using this one. Text is just add any text for demonstration. So just like chair, for example. And for the text color, sorry, this is text. For the text color, let's make this black and text size 15 SP. Now text style, we can make this bold. Now the constraints start to the end of our image and top to the top of our image. And now we want to add the plus and minus icons for the quantity. So this will be just an image view. And let's make this 20 dB for width and height. 
we need to add margin from the bottom of 5 db and we can add the source this one for the plus icon now bottom to the bottom of our parent and into the end of our parent i'll copy this and place it for the minus icon but we will just gonna change the constraints so first let's change the icon this will be minus and the constraints so top to the top of our parent and we can also add a margin from the top 5 db and for this icon it actually looks bigger than the plus icon i don't know why but i'll just add margin from the end 1 db and just reduce the size to 18 db okay now moving to the next thing uh the the quantity text between these two icons so let's create that so below here let's actually create a text view and for the width and height wrap content let's give a text of one just for demonstration and now let's add the constraints for that let's first add the ids for these two images so this one for the plus icon and this one for the minus icon let's make the constraints now so top to the bottom of our minus and end to the end of minus image minus bottom to the top of the plus icon and we can also add start to the start with let's say image plus so this will show in here as you can see now we want to add two images of views for the selected color and selected size now there is another text of view the price text of view so let's add that and we'll just go up here and copy this one we can actually put it below this one like we can put it in here and let's give this an id of tv product cart price by the way, I'm gonna give this one also an ID, the, um, the text view of the name. So TV product cart name. So for this one, let's make the width wrap content. And for the text, let's just make it 50, for example, and text size will be uh, 10. Then we change the constraints. So start with the start of our TV product name and top to the bottom of our tv product name and we can actually remove the margin from the start also we can remove the margin from the top and now let's go to the bottom and and create two images of views for the selected color and selected size so let's actually do that and this will be circle image make 15 db for the width and for the height now margin from the top give this 5 db let's add any color for that and now let's add the constraints so start with the start of our tv product cart price we also want one from the top with the bottom of the tv product price and let's add an id for this one image cart product color i'm gonna copy this one and paste it in here and this time for the selected size so image card product size blue gray 200 this is gonna be always the same color now we want to change the constraints this is gonna be start with the end of our image color and top to the top of our image card product color and delete the margin from the top then we can add margin from the start and we can make this 5 db now we want to add the size on top of this image view for that we will have a text view in here i'll go up and uh, and i'll copy this one paste it in here so i'll just type for example large for the id of this one tv cart product size and for the size let's make this 11 sp for the color 
white. Finally, for the constraints, delete all of these. And we want to make the first one bottom with the bottom of our image size. So all of the constraints now with the image size because we want to center it in the middle. Top to the top of image size. Start to start image size. And uh, end to the end of image size. And this will show right here as you can see. Okay, that's it for this design. Now we're done with this one. We just want to add an ID for the quantity text view. Let's actually do that. So ID TV cart product quantity. Okay, now open up the cart fragment. Uh, fragment cart. We already have that one. And then here we'll start with this fragment. By the way, I will just do this quickly because I think it's just the same process. We've been doing that since the first episode in this playlist. So I'll just speed up the video and make sure to follow up with this one. Or you also can find and you will also find the XML file of this fragment in the description. I will also attach the XML file of this cart product item. You'll find them in the description. So now I will leave you with this design. And now let's get it started. Okay, now for the checkout button, I would like to get that from the details fragment. We have that in there. So details, product, de uh, product details, and we have that in here. Let me go here. And there it is. So this one, copy it. You can paste it in this file. Now let's change some constraints. 
Um, by the way, this should be outside of this constraint layout scope. So put it below here. And, and we want to add this bottom to the bottom of our parent. A better approach is just to delete this and make top to the bottom of our container. And then uh, this actually would be better because if a screen was small, then in the previous approach, we might override this add to cart button with this container. But with this approach, we make sure that we don't override anything if the screen was a small. And now we're just gonna change this text to check out. Okay, the ID here as well. Okay, now one thing is missed is when we have empty cart, we wanna show a user an empty box with some text that tells him that the cart is empty and it doesn't have any products. We can do that in the bottom right here. To achieve that, let's actually have a constraint layout, match parent for both. And let's give this an ID of layout cart. And in here, we would like to design that. So we'd have first image view, 120 dB for width and height. And we give a background of empty box background and we also give it source of empty box this one so this icon as you can see and now we add the constraints so start to the start parent in bottom to the bottom of parent and top top of the parent so we center it in the middle now we can also make a margin uh, from the top 130 db and we can also add an ID for this image empty box. Now there's a text store below this box. So let's add that in an image of you. The source is empty box texture. And let's put that behind of our box. So we would like to say bottom to the bottom of our image. empty box top to the top of our Im image empty box start to the start and end to the end with the same now as you can see we should just swap the locations or we just need to put this above here okay this looks nice but in here the margin should be from the bottom so change that now we're just gonna add a text so let's do that. Text view, wrap content for both. Font family is light, Pubbins light, and the gravity is center. We can say text. We can say your shopping cart is empty. And we can then add a color of black. We can add text size of 15 SP. And then we add the constraints. Top to the bottom of our texture. We have not added an ID for that. Let's do it. Let's add the constraints. And then we can close this and that's actually it for this fragment. Now when we have products into this cart, we can simply say visibility equals to gun. And when we don't have any products, we can change this to visible and hide all of these views up here. Okay, so I'm gonna just make this gun by default. And that's it for this video. So thank you so much for watching this one, and I hope you have a great day, catch you in the next one.